गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इट्स एड टीवी एंड थैंक यू फॉर स्टॉपिंग बाय फॉर अनदर यूट्यूब वीडियो ऑफ आज एंड टुडे इस वीडियो इज समवर डिफरेंट एस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू रिएक्ट टू द पीएफए टीम ऑफ द ईयर 2019-20 सीजन सो द पीएफए टीम ऑफ द ईयर फॉर प्रीमियर लीग इज आउट द पीएफए प्लेयर ऑफ द ईयर वाज वन बाय केविन डी ब्रायन Congratulations, congrats, Kevin! I was so happy because it's the first time a Man City player has won that award. So you can see now the PFA team, and let us react. Uh, this was taken from one football because uh, I was too lazy to make my own. So at goal we have Pope, a goalkeeper. He just lost the golden glove by one clean sheet to Ederson of Man City, my team. But I feel for a team like Burnley, Pope was very good. You know, that's what everyone says. But I also feel that Ederson also deserved it. Simple reason: if your new city's defense this season, it was the main reason why we lost the title race. So I think actually for a City fan itself like me, it was very surprising to see Ederson getting the Golden Glove. But I feel like Ederson. Everyone is just forgetting that Ederson. you know had to, uh, uh is also capable of this position because they think like city's defense is huge but no it is and but compared like that pope has faced more shots on target as i would say and he has done more saves compared to edison but at this time edison is one of the best i would suggest at uh, left back no what is that called no doubts it is robertson uh from liverpool i also feel like ben chilwell was amazing this season but you know robertson he got so many assists the club system works like that hence even at right back we are seeing trent alexander arnold who again got many assists it's fair but i think Ch- uh, chilwell could have got a chance you know if he had done a little bit better i send the backs we have virgil van dijk and so you too Now uh, I won't comment about Virgil Van Dijk because uh, I didn't think his performance like last season was that impressive but uh, I would just say that it was like kind of okay and I think the hype which was created by last season is still uh, there which is still making it feel that he is a great defender but to tell you to come to put someone else at a position I have nobody to think who was outstanding So yes I will consider him even so you too playing for Leicester he was great uh, his defense was also amazing but uh, I think he went missing uh, in the second half when Leicester start to stop winning points and started losing more games but still even if he's playing for Leicester side so I say it is great at midfield we have David Silva Henderson and De Bruyne Okay so Henderson would have won would have obviously been here because he won the that writers award I guess writers writers and De Bruyne obviously because he himself won the PFA team of the year so these two were obvious the question was who was going to be the third one and to tell you the truth I'm kind of shocked to see David Silva because basically I never expected him to be here uh i thought it may be you know some other midfielder i don't know there are many to choose the midfield position is the most toughest even rodrigo could have been here or rodrigo or your or rodri whatever you want to call him he can be there he could be you no know, foden is kind of young he still hasn't proven much but uh, it is great to see in david silva last season he was there in the pfa team of the year it's kind of happy and sad at the same time that he won't be playing for city fall uh, again but uh, it's okay he had 10 plus assists he had some amazing free kick goals amazing normal goals also okay then at left wing we have mane 100% deserve To tell you the truth, when you tell me Liverpool front three, the only player who I have hundred percent respect is Sadio Mane. He hits amazing passes, amazing goals. His run, uh, sprint, I just love him. And to tell you the truth, I would enjoy him being at Man City. Definitely, the sad thing is he's for Liverpool, and the chance of that happening is very low. The last player who did it was Sterling. but uh, that's a different story but i have a lot of respect at center forward our striker we have jimmy wardy the golden boot winner obviously 
great defense uh, i mean great uh, forward uh, even by being so old he's the golden good winner so yes congrats uh, jimmy wadi even i believe this was well deserved then at uh, right wing we have obameyang uh, so now the issue here is uh, that i'm not saying obameyang is bad he had an amazing season but we are forgetting a player and that is danny ings who had a, like a breakthrough season with southampton southampton i know this year what is that called arsenal were not so good but when you consider southampton had lost 9-0 to leicester still uh, danny ings helps uh, and of course of course help southampton come back bounce back so well i definitely think southampton should have a chance i mean should have a say in this but uh, it's okay it's fine not everything is fair so uh, i feel it's kind of okay and now time for what i would say would be the best team of the pfa team of the year and the reveal is here as you can see i have put edison in goal because of course edison golden Bo- the golden boot winner can be there the golden glove winner should be too uh i didn't change robertson or trent alexander arnold both of them for perfection so you two and i the defense part i don't know i'm too confused so i just left it so you two and what you went like it's okay i don't know if you all think someone else could come here you can tell me because uh chelsea's defense wasn't so great our defense it is wasn't so great arsenal's was a tragedy Tottenham changed a lot so I don't know if you could even put a Tottenham defender uh and talking about the rest uh, man you who oh, Harry Maguire that's the only thing that I presume the comment section will be filled with but no guys not Harry Maguire not this season at least uh okay so I guess we finish with that and then the midfield uh same nothing no changes de bruyne amazing uh, david silva amazing henderson okay and uh, with as you can see i've got sadio mane down to make it a 3 uh, 4 4 2 and i have put wadi and danny ings in front simple reason because uh, i feel danny ings deserves his recognition obameyang is a great striker i would say but uh, danny ings had a big trophy he did something special i believe in a pfa team of the year it should be a player should perform better than what he normally does perform and that is what dan ings has done so i definitely think it is what dan ings should get so thank you guys for watching this video again do like share subscribe see you all in new videos coming soon and take care see you later goodbye